Hi, so today we will talk about the tools that you need to learn ethical hacking and penetration testing. So in order to start your journey as ethical hacker or penetration tester, you need to install Kali Linux, Metasploitable and um, OVASP web application, web broken applications. So today we will talk about these tools and how to install them. But um, first we need to install VirtualBox because you don't want to install them directly on your system. This is this might cause you cause some harm or if you make a mistake on the system it's not going to affect your real files and your real data and it's not going to make you vulnerable so it's better to install them all in this virtual box it's a virtual system so it's separated from your system the first thing that you need to do as i said is to install virtual box so let's go now to the oracle vm oracle virtual box and and then you go to this page and you click on your host. So if you have Mac, then you click on Mac. If you have Windows, then you click on Windows. In my case, I have Windows 11, so I clicked already and I downloaded it, the Windows hosts system. And I'm just gonna click on it and guide you through the installation. And now we have the setup wizard. So you just need to click next, next, and then you need to install it. So in my case, I installed it already, so I don't need to finish it. So I'm just gonna say no and close it. But in your case, if you don't have it installed on your system, so you have to go and click on yes. So finish now. And then after installing it, you will have it as I showed it already. So you will have it here, but it's gonna be empty because you, you haven't installed any virtual system. So you need to install them. We need Kali Linux. So now we go to the Kali Linux website. Kali Linux website have a lot of different versions of Kali Linux and each one is for a certain platform. Uh, but in our case, we have virtual box. So we will scroll down till we found this section, pre-built virtual machines. Again. In my case, I need for Windows, so I'm gonna, or a virtual box, so I'm just gonna click on it and download it. It's gonna take some time, it's around three gigabytes. I installed it already, so I don't need um, to install it again. And after installing it, you need to unzip it because it's gonna be a zipped file. So let's see it. So this is the Kali Linux virtual machine and this is, after unzipping it, we have it in this folder. So we need this file with .vb, .virtualbox or the vbox name. So um, let's go now to virtualbox. It's very, very easy. So we just go to add, we add, add the machine so now it's referring to the old one that i installed already but let's go to the one that i downloaded a couple of minutes ago so we are gonna get inside the folder and then we choose the file and we click on op so now we have it so the one i i had um i already had is 2022 and now i have this one and if you click on it, you will have in the description the username and the password for the Kali Linux. And here is the setting. So you have two gigabyte RAM, two processors, and yeah, some um, setting. It's like the default setting of it. So if you need more resources, then you need to go to setting and give it more resources like system, threads, RAMs, and every yeah everything else. Now, if we want to run it, we just click on this file and it's gonna start. And as I mentioned already, the username and the password are in the description down. So that was all about installing Kali Linux, now we need the Metasploitable. So let's go to the Metasploitable page. 
So Metasploitable is like a collection of web applications that are used to test um, or to exploit or to see some um, vulnerabilities. And it's like a testing environment for you to learn and um, yeah, improve your skills as a penetration tester or ethical hacker. And it's a safe env environment for yourself, so are you not you're not gonna break anything or do anything um, illegal. So it's just a virtual system inside your machine, and it's made for testing. So you click on download, and then you download it. Then you go to Metasploitable um, Linux. So this is the file. I'm just gonna get again to the folder. So you go again to Metasploitable. I unzip the file and then you will have the file. It's, I think this one, but you need to create a machine. So we need to create a machine. So in this case, we create this machine this way, like a test. Meta, give it the name, any name you want, and then we are going to choose a Linux. In our case, it's there is something called other Linux 64, and next base memory. So it doesn't need that much. I think one giga is more than enough. One processor. In case sometimes it it stops. And in case it doesn't work, you need then to give it more resources. So just give it, if you run it and it stops in the middle, then just come back and give it instead of one giga, give it two giga, and instead of one processor, give it two processors. And then next, and then we need to use an existing hard, use an existing virtual hard disk, and then we need to search for the one file that we just download it so we need to go add and search for the down inside the downloads metasploitable and then we have the metasploitable vmdk and then we open now we have it here choose next so now we have all the setting and it's there it's working so we click on finish and we just click on start and it's gonna work. There is just one thing that you need to think of. You need to create a network to connect these to connect these machines to um, each other. So they work as like um, in a virtual network inside the same router. So if we check this machine, so let's go to the network and you can see it's connected to this virtual to NAT network to vbox net zero i created this network this is the cal linux machine and then we go to the meta exploitable machine and then when we go to the network it's going to be in the same network so it's the same network virtual box net zero NAT network so they are in the same environment. So if I go um, to the virtual machine, so I just stopped because I was having some problems moving the screen to, to my recording screen. So now if I go to F config, so we have this, um, this IP. If we go to the Kali Linux machine, this is Kali Linux machine, and we go to, so this is my terminal, let's click F config. So you see they are on the same network. Let me now just, um, you can see it's saying, I think it was nine. Let's go back and check if the
Yeah, it's zero nine. It's not zero six. Uh, let's change it to nine. Yeah, now it's working because it's nine and then we have like the dumb vulnerable web applications and then we have a um, lot of options here to test and to see what we or how we can exploit them or what kind of vulnerabilities they have. I think the only thing that's still missing is how to create the network. Yeah, we need to go to the network manager. And in the network manager, in the NAT network, so you need to create a new one. So for example, I created NAT network one, and then you can change the name, test NAT test MV box and click on apply. So this is how we install Kali Linux. This is how we create Metas or install um, virtual box Metasploitable and then we create a network and connect them to the network. So for example, I think I, I forgot to mention it. I'm going to just mention it again quickly. So if I go now to the setting of this machine and I want to connect it to the testing NAT network that I just created. So we go to NAT network. We have now two. This is the one I just created. And that's it. Now we have a testing environment ready to use um, in ethical hacking or for ethical hacking learning purposes or pen testing. Thank you for listening and see you soon.